Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. On this session, we're going to learn how to create an icons animation on Flinto. And we're going to do this by using connected layers and also reusing transitions. And it's going to look something like this. Let me open the prototype. And the icons are connected and they're controlled by a tap gesture, but they're also controlled by a swipe gesture. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing that I did was create my design on Sketch. Uh, and I used simple shapes, uh, just like rectangles. And I started putting everything together. Uh, I rotated some of the rectangles 45 degrees. And for the play button, I rotated it 34 degrees. And I named every layer accordingly. So I used only three shapes for each icon and those three shapes I will name them one, two, and three. And then I would add a background uh, layer. Okay, so we have finished our design. And as you can see, let me show you what I did here. So on each of the icons, as you can see, I'm using three, uh, three shapes three rectangles, uh, which look like outlines, like uh, just lines, but they're actually uh, rectangles. And I named these rectangles one, two, and three. All of them have three shapes. Even the X, the X has, it looks like it's only two shapes, but one of them, uh, two of them, sorry, uh, have the same angle and, and have the same position. And that makes them look like it's only one. And also there are two more layers that I added. And these are the glow, uh, glow one and glow two. Uh, you will see once we connect layers on Flinto, it will make the glow uh, appear from here from the from the center into the background of the next layer. And we're going to learn how to do that. And also, why I named these one, two, and three? This is for me to know how to connect the layers on Flinto. That way, it will be easy for me for me to understand which ones are connected. And that's it. All of them uh, have the same uh, width. Uh, I use 48 and some of them have a rotation. For example, this one has a rotation of 45 and this one has, these ones have a rotation of 45 and negative 45 and this one has a rotation of 34. Uh, but if I were to move them, you will see that it's not a single shape. It's conformed of different shapes. The same here. Okay, now that we know how what I did, uh, let's see what we're going to, understand, to learn today. We're going to learn how to connect layers in Flinto, how to apply different gestures to the same element, uh, and how to reuse transitions. The cool thing about this is that you create the transition once and you can reuse it in different uh, templates or different elements. And also uh, a cool feature from Flinto, which is whatever simple shape, uh, rectangle that you create on layer, uh, sorry, on sketch, uh, it will turn it into vectors on, on Flinto too and it will respect even the, uh, the radius, the coordinate radius. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and send to Flinto. So if you don't have the plugin to send to Flinto, go uh, search for send to Flinto, uh, sorry, search for <laughs> Flinto for Mac on Google, and you'll be able to get the plugin for that. And so yeah, I go to send to Flinto, and automatically also, as you can see, it put 800 by 600, which is the size of dribble, just so I can probably turn this into a shot later. And scale, yeah. I send that and automatically opens for me in Flinto and respects all all the uh, all the different artboards and the naming and everything. So let's go ahead and start doing this. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is add a tap gesture. So I'm going to select actually Glow 2, which is, I suppose, the, the biggest one. I'm going to add a gesture and I'm going to tap. And the target is going to be uh, Arrow, which is this artboard. And I'm going to create a new transition. I'm going to name this transition as Icons. But you can name it whatever you want. It's not really important. It's just for you to understand which one is one. And the first thing that I want to do is put my artboard of the end screen in the middle of the guides. That way it will be, uh, because everything, all the animations and everything is happening in the, in the center. So now, now that I have this, you'll see that uh, on both artboards, the layers are named uh, the same. And I want to start connecting layers. So the line that is one on the end screen is going to be the same on the start screen. So I'm going to connect those layers. I'm going to do the same with these. And this will be really useful when you want to, when things move on screen and they don't leave the screen and you want them to be connected, uh, you can use the connect layers. And now let's see what happens. Automatically creates the transition for me. This created a weird uh, rotation. 
Uh, apparently, when you export to Flinto, there's probably there uh, a bug that it, it doesn't export the exact rotation, but it's you can easily fix it, and we'll fix it in a, in a second. And so yeah, it's as you can see, it is it's already happening. It's uh everything is 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 connected. Uh, one thing that uh, I I'm actually I'm realizing is that you don't want you want the uh, the start screen, the glow one, to connect with glow two. Those are the ones that are connected. And now it grows. See how it grows from the middle? So glow one connects with glow two of the end. And and glow one and glow two of, of these. Glow one from the end screen, you can leave it out. And glow two, you can leave it out. And yeah, and I named them transition icons. And this is pretty much it. I mean, now I can actually change these. I'm going to put this instead of, uh, I'm going to change the, uh, the spring to be a little bit of uh, reduce the transition and and reduce the friction and let me hold on there you go now it creates a, creates a bounce effect and let's let's test it out boing boing cool <laughs> so it's probably too much but uh you play around with that and, and and get the effect that you that you prefer and i'm going to save and remember the rotation is easily fixable here instead you you will see that instead of 45 it gave me 405 i don't know why but i can just fix this and this one instead of 305 it should be minus 45 this little guy should be 90. so yeah now i'm going to reuse the transition that uh that i use over here so this guy i'm going to add a gesture of tap and i'm going to target uh sorry the target is going to be close so i'm going to put close and the transition is going to be the same one that i created before done i'm going to do the same with this guy I'm going to add a gesture of tap the target is going to be play, which is the next artboard. And my transition is going to be icons, reusing the transition that I created. And here, I'm going to connect play with burger. And I can do it with a loop. I just add a gesture tap at a target as uh, burger. And the transition is going to be the same one. And cool, now let's test it out. Okay, press preview, and I can start testing. And <laughs> this is starting to look good. Probably the bouncy effect is not perfect you can go ahead and fine-tune that uh, the cool thing is for example since we're all using the same transition uh, the cool thing about this is if, if I edit the transition in one place for example these ones instead of bouncy now they're going to be a classic uh, is in is out I can just preview it and it's going to be applied everywhere where that transition is being used so I don't have that bouncy effect anymore this is I mean how easy is this and cool so we use uh, a tap gesture but now we can actually also, on the same object, add another gesture. And instead of tap, let's do left swipe. And it's going to be the same target, arrow. And it's going to be the same transition, icons. I'm going to do the same here. I add another gesture, left swipe. So as you can see, I have left swipe and I have tap. And both of them are doing the same. They are just being controlled in a different way. So I use the same transition. And let's test it out. So as you can see, I can use tap to go forward, but I can also now use a left swipe to go to the next one. That's so cool, right? I think I didn't add one here. This one, I'm going to add another gesture, left swipe, and I'm going to say burger, the target, the same transition, icons, done. Let's preview it again, and, and again. You can control this by tapping, point, 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 but you can also do it with your left swipe and if I want to get fancy and I want to add a right swipe right now it's not doing anything but I can go ahead and add one more gesture but instead of going uh, forward it goes backwards so I add another gesture and this is going to be a right swipe and the target instead of uh, going to be the the burger is actually going to be close and I reuse the same transition that's the cool thing about uh, reusing transitions let's preview it so, as before, we were able to left swipe and just go to the next one, but I can also go back by right swiping. How cool is that? How cool is that? That's awesome. Anyway, hopefully you uh, learn uh, how to connect layers, how to apply different gestures to the same element, how to reuse transitions, and also that simple shapes like rectangles and circles are able to remain their vector properties on Flinto when you export them from Sketch, which is pretty cool.